Now look at this. What's up, Penguins? We're going to do the 2023 AP Bio FRQs, question number six. If you need a little bit more information on the background of the questions, remember all these questions are on AP Central. Okay, y'all. How many of you had a panic attack when you saw this diagram? Okay, I'm going to do my best to describe what's happening with a box marker. Okay, so let's imagine for a second that we have all of our data and you line it all up in sequential order. Okay, so you break it up into four little groups. And so the middle 50% of your data makes up that box, that little rectangle that you see, where like here's Q2, here's Q3, it makes a little rectangle. The line in the middle is showing you your median, and then the little whiskers that come out of it is showing you your lowest bound and your highest bound, so Q1 and Q4. So the question asks us to identify the gene that has the lowest median Q, CQ value um, when the Bs of different developmental stages were uh, compared. So if you look here at the developmental stage, the one that has the lowest median line, so the line that's in the middle of the rectangle, is what we're looking at. So that would be RPS5. So part B tells us, it gives a little bit of background, and it tells us that the CQ value is inversely proportional to the amount of mRNA of the gene. Um, and so based on the data, identify the gene that has the lowest level of gene expression regardless of variable. So because of the fact that it's inverse, okay, I want the highest number. So which of these has the highest in every single variable? Well, that would be the TBPAF. It's going to have the highest Q, CQ value, which would mean that it has the lowest mRNA. Okay, so part C, I had to get a little bit of help from my AP stat teacher at my school because um, I went around and around and around on this. Um, and so I'm just going to tell you what he said because I'd rather use his verbiage because I think it's going to be a little bit better than anything I can come up with. So we're supposed to say that there's a scientist that hypothesized that TBPAF is going to be the best control gene for the experiment, um, and they were investigating the effect of pesticides on the expression of other genes in one cell type um, containing males and females of the same developmental stage. Okay, um, So I've gone around and around in this. I think we should be looking at the sex because of the fact that the cell type is the same, and then the developmental stage is the same. So I think we should be looking at the sex for this, okay? So what he says, I'm reading what he says, um, the TBPAF box plots for developmental stage and sex have the least variability. Their medians are roughly equivalent, which cannot be said about the other three genes, and they have no overlap with the other three box plots. All three of these would be a reason why they would be the best control variable. Thanks, Mr. H. So as you see, the cell type is going to cause there to be a difference in expression. So um, just because you may have the same amount of gene doesn't mean you're going to be able to express it the same. Um, and so I said that it had to do with the differentiation of the cells. And so because of one cell is differentiated to do one thing, that is going to potentially go through that um, gene expression more often to make that specific protein. If I've been just by y'all.